Hello, you are welcome to this YouTube channel, and I'm super super excited to have you in this episode of the BZ2 series BTS. I'm super super excited to have you because in this episode, I'll be sharing a tip, I'll be sharing a trick to using the BZ2 to create circular curves. Okay, and this is one thing people struggle. Uh, people struggle with in using the bz2 this is one of the major things that people struggle with in using the bz2 and that is why i'm about to show you a trick to creating curves like a pro to creating circular curves a lot of people when using the bz2 to create curves you discover that you will have a sharp edge you will discover that there is your curves are not perfect there is a part that um comes out than the others your parts are having breaks and that is what i'm going to solve i'm going to show you a trick to solving that a trick that you've never seen anywhere a trick that you've never heard anyway and i'm super super excited to share it with you in this episode now if you are new to this channel you know what to do just hit on the subscribe button right away and also turn on your notification bell so that by next saturday whenever i drop new episode in this series that episode five in this series you will get notified and if you've not been following this series then just check the description box below you are going to see a link to all the other episodes once again you are welcome to my youtube channel and without further ado let's go right into the video Once again you are welcome and i will say that don't skip any part of this video i won't advise you to skip any part of this video because it, this video is going to be a short one but then don't skip any part so that you won't miss out on any important detail that i'm going to share because it's going to be an amazing time and it's going to be an amazing trick one that you wish you had knew earlier than this if you have been using the bz all right so first of all let me just go right into it I'm clicking on my bz2 now if you don't know about the tool already if you don't know about all of this then you may just need to check the description box below for the videos like the previous episode in this series so that you so that we can be on the same page in this episode all right so when i was talking about break when i was talking about a part coming out than the other here's what i mean you discover that if you have been using the bz2 wrongly probably you you don't know much about the bz2 then you'll be able to relate with what i'm about to show you let's say i want to create a circle then let me just show you what i'm trying to say so click on plus yeah this then close it up close it up all right let's go out there. let's say you are trying to create a curve for example and um let's say you want to create a circle a circular yes let me just um let me add one more to this all right so this is what we've got so let's say i want to create a circle and um maybe i want to sometimes you may even want to trace it may be that you want to trace something um yeah maybe that you want to trace something let's cover that let me just show you what i'm trying to say all right so you see look at this here's what i'm trying to sh show you Look at this. You discover that many times when you are using the BZ2, you you do have okay, you do have experience with things like this. Like you discover that those angles, like those parts, are not straight. They are not the way you want it to be. They are like giving you sharp vibe. Like they are they are, they are sharp. Whereas you want them to be circular. You want the curves to be even around the shape. And that is what I'm about to show you. That's the trick I'm about to tell you. Okay, so yes yeah so this is it but then let me let me go back to the bz2 let me just delete this and go back to the bz2 and now the trick is that whenever you are using the bz2 ensure especially to create circular curves like probably maybe not circular but then curves that has to do with um yeah different kind of curves yeah let, let, me, let me just use the word curve let's say you are trying to create a curve one thing you need to know is that your handles your two handles your two opposite angles must be on a straight line your two opposite angles must be on a straight line this is one thing you need to know your two opposite angles need to be on the same line now what what am i saying this is where i would like to use my uh my guide line here so that i'll be able to um show you what i what, what i'm trying to say just tap on this let me for example let me try to create a circle let me just 
um try to create a circle yes so let me move this okay oh no let me just minus here so let me move this here let me turn on my magnet yeah let me move this here let me move this here let me move this here okay so move this here too all right so here's what we've got and i'm going to explain to you what i mean by the two angles um being on a straight line now if you look at this particular point it's because that there is one angle here there is another angle please follow my video carefully there is this angle and there is this angle there is this angle and there is this angle okay so these two angles must be on a straight line with this one this particular angle must be on a straight line with this angle if you have something like this it's called that the angles are no longer on a straight line the angles are, are not on a straight line now it doesn't matter whether your angle is short or long the major thing is that your angle your two angles i'm calling them angle okay your two angles need to be on a straight line okay so even if you have something like this and you know Sometimes you may not sometimes you may have a line, you can use a line to demarcate it. For example, let's I'm creating something like this. I can decide to use a line. Alright, there's a line already, so I don't even need that. There is a guide line. Look at this guide line. Look at this particular guide line that I just um selected. So this that is one line. So um I don't really need to bother about it. I don't need to create another line by myself. But there are times that you'll be using the tool and you you your your angles need to be straight or um diagonally your angles need to be straight diagonally okay in that situation you may decide to use a diagonal line you may decide to just put a diagonal line there so that it will just help you to be on track but then you may not even need it for someone like me i don't use that line i just use my eyes to calculate that, okay is this now on a straight line all right so yeah let's just try to create a circle and you understand what i'm saying better so this is already on a straight line now this undo yeah, look at it now. It's that this particular angle and this one now, they are on a straight line, on a perfectly straight line. So, let me do the same thing for this. Move this angle down. So, yeah, these two angles too are now on a perfectly straight line. Then let me do the same thing for this. Then let me do the same thing for this too. Then I repeat the same process for this and for this. All right, so you see what we've got now. Then I can now begin to adjust it because everything everything is on a straight line even if i decide to let me just adjust their length let me adjust their length you see this with this if i can just take my time it's that i'll be able to create a perfectly um a perfect circle a perfect circle now all right let me just show you what what you can see now it's called that look at there are no sharp edges can, can you see what i'm trying to show you now there are no sharp edges look at almost every every part of the circle are even okay there are no sharp edges like the one like this one let me just show you and the second um so i'm able to see the differences that i'm trying to make you see all right so yeah let's go back to the bz2 and let's assume that let's assume that this one now maybe this one let me move this one here discover that this particular undo this particular undo i mean this one please pay attention to my cursor this one and this one they are no longer on a straight line now what i'm what i'm showing you is very important because they are tends to be creating a circular shape maybe not even a circular shape or you are trying to create a logo you are trying to create an illustration and see you can never dodge this that is one thing especially when dealing with illustration especially when dealing with logos logos that deal with curves okay you can never ever dodge this and that is why this is very important which is why i'm telling you the simple trick the simple trick is to ensure that your two handles are on a straight line it doesn't matter whether an undo whether two uh, undos on a point maybe one is shorter than the other it doesn't really matter okay so it doesn't really matter whether one is shorter than the other all that matters is that both of them need to be on a straight line so let me just show you this let me just let me make all this not be on a straight line all right so let me make all this not not be on a straight line you see what i'm trying to explain to you all right so you can look at you see what i'm trying to show you look at this please pay careful attention look at this look at this you see that see the difference i'm trying to show you all right so look at this this is one thing a lot of people face when using the bz2 like a lot of people and i know this because i've been here before i know this because i've seen a lot of people who are using the bz2 wrongly and that is why you need to stop using it wrongly 
which is why this video will be a, a will be a um will be the best thing yeah to help you solve this problem okay so you can see the difference let me just uh, make this look at this you can see the difference one is almost perfect this is almost a perfect circle why look at this this one is just having different different um sharp edges okay so let me delete this back to this so let me just adjust this again don't forget that they have to be on a straight line so the only thing i need to adjust more here now is the length okay let me turn on my magnet all right so i can keep adjusting because that what i'm adjusting i adjust the length because that this particular handle is shorter than this one okay so you have to do just to keep adjusting and adjust take out your time to adjust it all right so your own may not be to create a perfect circle your own may just be to but the truth is you can't even dodge this you can't dodge this at all especially if you will be um going into logo design don't worry in the um coming episodes we will deal with we will deal practically with logos and you will understand what i'm saying better where we'll begin to use all of this practically in creating illustrations human illustrations logos and all of that okay so yeah this is the simple trick the simple trick is ensure that your two handles are on a straight line it doesn't matter whether one of the handles are going to be shorter when i say that your two handles i mean your two you know when creating a when creating a shape with the bz2 each point have two handles that's what you need to know each of your point for example if i tap on it look at this has one hand here one hand here that is let me show what i'm trying to say look at this is one handle this is another handle you discover that so the same thing applies to this too if i tap on this if I, if I tap on this like this look at this is one handle this is another handle so each point has its own handle and if you want to create a perfect curve yeah it doesn't matter whether you are dealing with circle or semicircle or whatever whatever you are dealing with so it has to do with curve okay that is this is one thing you need to know all right so you have to ensure that all your handles like your each each pair of handle on a point have to be Yes, each pair of handle on the point have to be um have to be on a straight line. Okay, so yes, here's what we've got. So I think I still need to adjust this. I need to move this up a bit and adjust this. All I have to just keep adjusting now is the length. And yes, see what we've got, guys. Look at this. This is amazing. So from here you can even increase the opacity. Yes, and um okay from here you can increase the opacity you can change the color to whatever you want let's say i want this to be my color okay then i can reduce the stroke to zero and here's what we've got see my see my ship almost circle like almost a perfect circle all right so that is that we bring us to the end of this video i hope you've learned something please this is very important and you begin to see the importance of this if you are not seeing the relevance now you begin to see the importance of this when we begin to deal with logos or even when you are creating logo on your own the trick is don't ever forget the trick don't um, ensure that your two handles like each pair of handles at the points are on a straight line like it doesn't that doesn't mean that they can't be on a diagonal line that just means that each handle like one handle must be on a straight line with the second handle you know, it's straight like I'm diagonal, can be horizontal, can be vertical, can be, yeah, can be in different forms. But just ensure that they are both on the straight line. One must not um drift away from the other. And you can use you can use a normal straight line with your shape to help you. Okay. So thank you for staying with me to the, to this point. I'm very sure that you've learned something. Please, if you've learned something, let me know in the comment section. And also, do it to like this video. Please and please don't forget to like this video. Hit the like button. And also, don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that by next Saturday, whenever I drop another amazing tutorial in this episode, you will get notified. Also, please and please share this video to help someone. Thousands of Pixel Lab users are struggling with this every single day. And this video will be a this video will help them solve their problem. Alright. So once again, thank you for watching. I'm going to see you in the next one.